So hi, I want to welcome each and every one of you to our Sunday School this afternoon. This afternoon, Bodnaf will be hosting the Sunday School, and we would like to open with a prayer by Mrs. Margaret Gokul. Hi, good afternoon. Pleasant good evening to one and all. Welcome to the kids of the Sunday School group. We open with a prayer. Let us pray. Bow our heads, hands together, eyes closed. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, as we, your children, have gathered to praise and worship you, we give you thanks for keeping us safe for the past week. We pray that whatever is taught will be received by the young ones in our midst. We pray that your word will be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Father, this prayer we pray in your name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I'll hand you back to Karina. So hi again, everyone. So today to start off, we will be led with three choruses by Miss Marissa. I will put, put it up on the screen so that you all can follow along and sing along, right? Let me just share my screen and then she'll get started with the choruses. <laughs> Okay, so Marissa, you can start off with the choruses. Afternoon, everyone. So after three, right? Two, three. He's the He's Christ of yesterday, today, forever. He's mine. Oh, yes, he's mine. He's the Christ of yesterday, today, forever. And he's mine. Oh, yes, he's mine. The I was lost and deep in sin. I opened up my heart and I let him in. He's the Christ of yesterday, today, forever. And he's mine. Oh, yes, he's mine. If you want to be a work of the Lord, bring your Bible and come. If you want to be a work of the Lord, bring your Bible and come. You gotta hoist up, lick down, kick out Satan, bring your Bible and come. You gotta hoist up, lick down, kick out Satan, bring your Bible and come. Sit down, I can't sit down. Sit down, I can't sit down. Jesus in my soul and I cast it down. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. I feel like going on and on and on. I feel like going on. Never get weary. Never get weary at yet. I never get weary yet. Living for Lord and I never get weary yet. From the castle of my heart, from the castle of my heart, for the king is in residence here. So let me fly and the castle let the whole know, let the whole world know. Let the whole world know, so let it fly in the sky. Let the whole world know that the king is the reality. Okay, so now we will have the Bible verse and the Bible story by Caitlin. We have the Bible story. Good afternoon, everyone. And my name is Caitlin, and I would be doing the Bible passage for today. This Bible passage is taken from Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 to 24. And he said to the man, You listen to your wife and eat the fruit which I told you not to eat. 
Because of what you have done, the ground will be under a curse. You will have to work hard all your life to make it produce enough food for you. It will produce weeds and thorns, and you will have to eat wild plants. You will have to work hard and sweat to make the soil produce anything until you go back to the soil which the soil from which you were born. You were made from soil and you will become soil again. Adam named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all human beings. And the Lord God made clothes out of animal skins for Adam and his wife, and he clothed them. Adam and Eve are sent out of the garden. Then the Lord God said, Now these human beings have become like one of us and have knowledge of what is good and what is bad. They must not be allowed to take fruit from which from the tree that gives life, eat it and live forever. So the Lord God sent them out of the Garden of Eden and made them cultivate the soil from which they had been formed. Then at, at the east side of the garden, he put living creatures and a flaming sword which turned in all directions. This was to keep anyone from coming near the tree that gives life. And this, I am now going to be reading the Bible story. And this is People Disobeyed God. God had put Adam and Eve in a special place that was very beautiful. In it were fish, animals, and lovely plants and trees. There also was plenty of food to eat. Adam and Eve was every day taking care of the garden. They, talk, they talked with God each day as well. God loved Adam and Eve, and they loved God. God had one rule for Adam and Eve. He told them not to eat the fruit of a certain tree. One day, Eve saw the tree from which she was not supposed to eat. It was lovely, and the fruit was beautiful. Satan, God's enemy, used a very sly animal called a serpent to lie to Eve about the fruit and about God. Even though she knew God's rules, Eve, Eve chose, to, chose to eat from the tree. She also gave Adam a piece of the fruit, and he ate it. Suddenly, Adam and Eve knew they had done something very wrong. They felt afraid and sad. They even tried to hide so God could not find them, but no one can hide from God. God knew what they had done. God asked Adam, where are you? Even though he knew where they are, where they were. God was trying to help Adam understand what he'd done and what happened because of what he did. Adam said, I, I am hiding because I am afraid. God was sad that Adam and Eve had disobeyed his rule. He told the man and the woman that they would have to leave the garden. Still, God did not stop loving and caring for Adam and Eve. God made clothes for them. He loved Adam and Eve even though they had disobeyed him. God loves us too, even when we disobey him. We don't, we don't need to try to hide from God but should admit to him we've done wrong whenever we realize we've disobeyed him. We also should tell him we're sorry for what we've done. And this concludes our Bible story. I would now hand you over to Karina. Okay, everyone. So as you know, today our topic for Sunday school is Adam and Eve are banished from the garden. And as Caitlin just read from our Bible verse and the Bible story, um, Adam and Eve, they ate from the forbidden tree and they ate the forbidden fruit because the devil tempted them, right? And what God is trying to teach us today is that how, you know, he had one rule and that was so that they would not eat from this tree. And because he had disobeyed them, he needed to punish them so that they would learn in the end the lesson that he was trying to teach them. And we must always follow God's rules. So today I want us to focus on the, for our team really, is 
and the Bible verse that especially that you all should pay special attention to is that so the Lord God sent them out of the garden and made them cultivate the soil from which they had been formed, right? God wants us always to follow his rules and he doesn't have a lot of rules for us. He just wants us to follow him, follow his teachings and for that being god had to show them that okay if you disobey the rules then you would be punished so now we want to move on to our craft section and today we'll be making the forbidden tree that adam and eve were not supposed to eat from now in the all you would need for this craft is a toilet paper an empty toilet paper roll like this um you would need paper so that you can cut out the outline of a tree like this. All you have to do is just take a pencil and you all know how to make the, the outline for a tree. And what you're going to do is I sent out some outlines as well. So all you have to do is you can cut them out in the shape like this. And what I want you all to do is when you all have your toilet paper roll like this, you can take crayons, you can take color pencils, and you can color the, the base of the tree in brown, like I did, right? And then you're going to take the, the, the tree as well, and you can color it in green. And then I want you all to, you can use color pencils, you can use markers, and I want you to draw in your fruits. So as you saw, I have my fruits here. Now, if you all didn't have um, a pipe cleaner, green pipe cleaner, um, there were cutouts of a snake. So let your parents help you and you can cut out the snake like this and you can color your snake. Now this represents the serpent who, dev who the devil sent to tempt Adam and Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. Right, so what we are going to do, our craft is very simple. So you have the base of your tree and you can take scotch tape. You have your tape ready and let me show you. So first we are going to stick the top of our tree. So you put, can put a little bit of scotch tape to the top of your tree. Let me put it here for you. So you put a little bit of scotch tape, as you all can see, and you're gonna attach the top of your tree. So you see, very simple. So the next step is we are going to, if you have the pipe cleaner, what you're gonna do is you can just wrap the snake around the base of the tree, right? So that it would look like this, right? And as you can see, there's the snake. Or if you have the cutout like this, what you're gonna do again is you're gonna take some scotch tape, just burst a small piece of scotch tape and you can stick it to the back of the snake like I did. You put about a couple pieces of tape or if you have glue and you want to use glue as well, you can use glue. So, and you're gonna stick your serpent at the base of the tree, just like this. So your craft, when you're finished, is supposed to look like this. Do you all see? Temple, is it easy? Everybody seeing? Yes, yes. Okay. So that's our craft. So we'll come back after and I want to see some of your crafts, right? And if you all don't have it ready today, you can do it after and you can make sure to keep all your crafts. Is this a simple craft? This was this a fun craft? Yes, not my craft. Wow. Kaylan, look at your craft. Look how beautiful. Wow. So this is my craft and I also have another one. Wow, look at your crafts. Okay, so now we're gonna have two more choruses done by Miss Marissa. I'm gonna put it up on the screen and then when I'm when we finish with the choruses, we're gonna have a little question segment to see what you all learned from our Sunday school. 
So let's do some choruses again. Yeah. Okay, Marissa, you can do the choruses now. Okay, so everyone ready? After three, three. Cast your burdens onto Jesus, for he cares for you. Cast your burdens onto Jesus, for he cares for you. Higher, higher, higher. Higher, Wider, 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 I must thank you, thank you all the days of my life. I must thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you all the days of my life. I was lost, you found me, Lord. When I was lost, you found me, Lord. I must thank you all the days of my life. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you all the days of my life. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you all the days of my life. When I was down, Lord, you lifted me. When I was down, Lord, you lifted me. I must thank you all the days of my life. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you all the days of my life. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must Thank you, thank you, thank you. I must thank you all the days of my life. When I was sick, Lord, you healed me. When I was sick, Lord, you healed me. When I was sick, Lord, you healed me. Thank you all the days of my life. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you all the days of my life. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you, thank you, Lord. I must thank you all the days of my life. Good job, good job, good job, everyone. You all sound so good. So, as you all know, this is the end of this topic of Adam and Eve. So we want to ask you all some questions. We want to see what you all have learned, right? So God created Adam and Eve. And what did he tell them not, what did he tell them not to eat? Not to eat in the friend's food. Good. They were not supposed to eat the forbidden fruit. And who tempted Adam and Eve to eat the forbidden fruit? The devil. The devil. The devil sent a serpent to tempt Adam and Eve. Now, Eve ate the first bite of the fruit. And then what did she do? Tempted Adam. Yeah, she tempted Adam and she gave him a piece of the fruit as well. Wow, you all are really smart. You all are remembering the entire story. Now, after they ate the fruit, what did they realize? They realized they had no clothes on. 
So what did they do? What did they make clothes out of? They made clothes with um, one of us. <laughs> they made the clothes out of the leaves from the different trees. They made clothes out of the leaves, right? Now they hid from God. Why were they hiding from God? They were hiding from God because they knew they had eaten that forbidden fruit. Because they're afraid. Yes, they were afraid because they knew they weren't supposed to eat the forbidden fruit. Now, was God angry with Adam and Eve? Yes. Yes, he was angry. And what did he do to Adam and Eve for eating the forbidden fruit? He sent them out of the garden. Yes, he sent them out of the garden so that they would have to cultivate the land. They would have to work hard in order to, to get food to eat. So what did he do when he sent them out of the garden? What did he put at the gates of heaven? So flaming swords yes he put the he put the angels with the flaming swords at the gates of heaven at the gates of the garden right they were not allowed to enter back into heaven because they were being punished and they had to learn their lesson now what was the important lesson that they had to learn that we must always obey god's rules can you all repeat that for me? We must always obey God's rules. We must always obey God's rules. Good. So everyone, did you all enjoy the lesson of Adam and Eve? Yes. Good. I'm so glad. Let me see some of your crafts. Kayla, let me see your craft. Wow. All of your crafts are looking so good. So everyone, you all can continue making your crafts and make sure to keep them, keep all your Sunday school crafts because you all are doing an amazing job. So that was the end of our lesson of Adam and Eve. Did you all have a good class today? Yes, Miss Reading. Good. Now I sent out some activities that you all can do, coloring pages as well, right? So your mummies and daddies should have them. And if not, I will send them back out so you all can get them, so you all can color, you all can do mazes. Do you all think you all would like that, to color some pages? So now... We hand over to Mrs. Goku so that she can say our closing prayer, okay? Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and thank you, Miss. Mrs. Goku, your, your mic is on mute. What? Yes, good afternoon again. Did you enjoy the story today, kids? Yes. Are you prepared for school for tomorrow? Yes. Who not going back to school? Very good. Everybody going back to school then. Yeah. <laughs> really under the children. Okay, I'll close this and bow our head. Hands flat, eyes closed. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, as we prepare for a new school term, we ask for your guidance for our children to be protected against the coronavirus and any other diseases that may be lurking. We pray for your protection against all evil forces. We pray for your goodness to us. We ask that continue guidance and protection on everything that we do. We give you thanks for this Sunday school session. We pray that thou will be with our, be our guide and our strength. We'll be a fortress, a rock of in which we should stand. We ask your mercies to Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bye, kids. Amen. Bye. Bye.
Bye, Bye, everyone. Thank you for attending Sunday School. See you all next week. Bye. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Margaret. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye.